you know, just start right now with Prop 17. Let's look at voting rights. And what this um, measure would do is rest restore voting rights upon completion of prison terms for parolees. So can you tell us a little bit about it and how, how our community would be affected uh, if this does or does not pass? Yeah, given that we're overrepresented among, relative to our population, uh, we're about 6% of the state's population, 30% of the state's prison population. This would uh, be a major win for African Americans who have completed their time. The movement is a part of the Times Done movement which says when you uh, pay your debt to society based on a criminal conviction, that you should not be penalized even further in terms of reintegration into society. Uh, those who have been incarcerated are uniquely impacted by government. So Proposition 17 says you can vote now. Under current law, uh, primarily that which came out of the three strikes era and shortly before, it, you you cannot vote if you are on state or federal parole. You can't vote in state and local elections. That's really discriminatory, it's unnecessary, it doesn't do anything for anybody, and it makes it harder to reintegrate into society. Oh, you just said something that sparked my attention here, though. So you said if it's a federal crime, so if you, if you still are doing something that's a federal crime, even if this passes, would that still prohibit you from being able to vote in a state election or just federal? You, you would be able to vote in a federal or state election. Currently, if you are on any form of parole, you cannot vote. So this would make it so that state or federal, you can vote in a California election. As you know, uh, voting is controlled by the states and the states alone. Okay, and so we can override that from a, just making sure that we're, we're able to override whatever the federal rules are. Correct, there is no federal prohibition on voting if you are, um, under parole. All voting rules are set by uh, state governments. Perfect. Thanks for that clarification. And we look here, there's no registered opposition, so it seems like California is in line possibly with this. 